So, you all like dogs, don't you? Christ on a bloody bike. I have never had so much backlash for something I've created. Honestly, this must be how Katie Hopkins feels. Oh no, sorry, that is a bit extreme. I'm sure she loves dogs. Every other bastard does. In case you're not aware, my last dressing gown diaries was titled Cats vs Dogs. And obviously cats won, because cats are better in every way. Um, quite a few of you don't agree with that opinion. Quite a few of you very, very much love dogs and worship dogs. I think dogs are the dog's bollocks. So I'm in the dog house because I said dogs are essentially rubbish and pointed out all their flaws. You all got quite upset because you knew that the flaws I were pointing out was um, very accurate, but you felt bad about the fact that you'd chosen to be a dog person. And that's okay, I understand. Don't worry, you'll be okay. There are plenty of cats out there in the world to fill the dog-shaped void in your life. Now you've realised they're terrible pets. You'll be fine. I'm not helping, and I actually genuinely have been quite surprised at how much grief I've had. I know people love dogs, that's what the video is about, but I have actually been a bit taken aback. People have actually brought it up with me, like just people I've seen out and about. Sometimes I go outside. Oh, I saw your video. Oh, don't like dogs, eh? Well, <gasps> here's the dog hater. It's very funny, but it's also a little bit frightening. We had a lot of comments on the video, people saying like, you're evil, <laughs> go away, stop making these, they're really boring. I'm sorry, some dogs are okay, most of them not. I'm open, if your dog doesn't jump up and try to kill me, then I'll give it five minutes, but most of the time they do, so... I don't. I'm sorry. If you want to see me, get a cat. I'm not the bad guy here. Like, not liking dogs is not that bad of an opinion to have. So I thought, oh, I'm a freak because I don't particularly like dogs. There must be other freaks out there who don't like things that everybody likes. So I thought I'd take a little look at some unpopular opinions. Try to take some of the heat off me. Here's what I found. It's from Odyssey. The 17 best unpopular opinions from the millennials. My favourite pizza is Hawaiian pizza. Now, I've seen this being thrown about the internet quite a bit. There is a big debate over whether cheese and pineapple go together or not. I don't think it goes together. I think it's gross. Like fruit within savoury dishes is a bit weird. Like my mum used to make a fruit curry. And I just couldn't get on board with it. The sweetness with the savoury didn't do it for me. Yeah, so I don't like Hawaiian pizza. I'm guessing most people don't. But then that is quite a well-selling pizza. You know, it's always an option. It can't be that unpopular to like it. But yeah, I do think it's a bit weird. Cheese and pineapple I just don't think go together. It's too much yellow if anything. Binge watching television is not fun and actually difficult to do. They can fuck right off. Oh, it's really hard. It's hard? What do you mean it's difficult to do? Difficult? Just sit down and keep watching. Millennials, eh? I'm very aware of the fact that I am a millennial and a prime example of one because I'm in a dressing gown at 20 past 10 making a vlog. Binge watching television is great fun and very easy to do. And don't tell me it's hard. Like you're some precious, mighty being who works and can turn the TV off. Well done, mate. What do you want, a medal? No. I love puns. Dad jokes for the win. I like a pun. I'll, I'll admit it. I like a pun. Those shitty dad jokes, they tend to make me laugh quite a bit. I've got that kind of sense of humor. Me and my best friend were always saying, I'm essentially an old man, trapped within the body of a gorgeous 24 year old um okay wait this one this is awful okay and this will definitely take the heat off me for the dog thing because this is potentially a crime against humanity <sighs> it's hard to read it out loud milk Ugh. milk in the cup first then the bloody tea don't put milk in the cup first sorry this is actually upsetting. <sighs> you put the tea in and then you add the milk. You put the tea in and then you add the milk. What's hard about that? Why would you put the milk in first? If you put the milk in first, you have no idea if you've added too much or too little. You just can't tell. You've not got the tea in there to judge the colour. Put the tea in first, add the milk bit by bit, then you can build up to the perfect ratio of milk to tea. Just chuck a load of milk in straight away. Fuck knows what you're going to end up with. I need some tea to swallow this this bitter pill. That tastes great. Do you know why? Because I put the milk in second. Putting the milk in first is just awful. If any of you dickheads put the milk in first, fucking hell. We can all agree on that. I now can be back in your club, back in your society. 